Everyone knows Samuel. Undying, immortal, amazing. I want to make him to the point where York and Nemesis double teaming him can't even take him out. If so, I got a build for you guys. And this build will make it that Nemesis gets tired of your shit and just leaves you alone. So without further ado, my friends, let's get right to how this build works and I'll break it down for you. Hello everyone, my name is Babic29 and welcome to this video of Resident Evil Resistance. My Sammy build is pretty straightforward. I rock Immortal, Recover, Blunt Force, and Exhilaration. As for my equipment, I rock Iron Nails 3, Iron Nails 2, Tactical Glove, and Supplements 3. Supplements 3 is what makes this build interesting. So Yellow Herb at base gives you an extra 30% damage increase and reduces damage by 30%. Supplements 3 adds an extra 10% on top of that, a little less to be exact, but you basically have 40% damage increase and 40% damage reduction while you under the effects of Yellow Herb, right? Meaning you are really hard to kill. And if you have Recover and Immortal active, getting that health back per overtime, you are nearly impossible to kill, especially the Nemesis. Nemesis will hate you. I've been called a hacker a few times. But basically, if you have a Recover and Immortal active along with a Yellow Herb, if he punches you and stunlocks you, it's going to take almost his entire duration to down you. And if you have full health and the Yellow Herb and get hit by a rocket launcher, you won't die. Mr. X and Birkin are also going to have a hard time killing you. Mr. X can still knock you out with his punches, it's just going to take him like 3 or 4 more. So be ready for that. He doesn't stun lock you as hard as Nemesis though, so you should be able to escape that and use Immortals like health over time or a Green Herb to get yourself back up. This build also helps Samuel with his damage. So Blunt Force already gives Samuel an extra 50% bonus damage to melee. With Iron Nails 3, 2, and Tactical Gloves, which is equivalent to Iron Nails 1, those three together will give you an extra 45% melee damage. And the Yellow Herb effect with Supplements giving you an extra 40% melee damage on top of that when you use a Yellow Herb. So that's pretty crazy damage. So I'm going to take this build in game and try to show it off to you guys and explain how it works and give you an idea how to use it. So I'll see you guys in game. You feel. Be hey what up guys, so ones. I couldn't find a match after I recorded the first part of the video. I either got a Nikolai that was stupid good and my teammates were potatoes or the other way around. So I used this, the old match that I had this is fine. and I think it really does show off the build that I'm trying to show you guys. Unfortunately, it's just me accommodating afterwards, so you don't get that live experience, but that's all right. We'll get through it. What a team player! So, setting up. I got a flash grenade for Nemesis, because flashes are really good against Nemesis. I am coming now, Smart was smart. You put a mine right there, and that's how we walked right into it. It was a really good play on this part. But anyways, with Nemesis, he's really weak to stuns. Like, you can just stun lock him so easily compared to any other bioweapons. Any explosive or flash. Now after you flash him once, you gotta wait, like, I think it's about 10 seconds. I never actually got an official time. But you gotta wait a certain amount of time before he'll actually get the flash done. He'll get stunned by the flash, but he'll just, like, do a little flinch. So you gotta wait, like, at least, like, 8 seconds, I would say. Roughly. Before you can stun again with flash. So give you a heads up on that. You can take it security card now. And like I said, it seems to be really good. We're sticking together and just backing each other up. I mean of course they're really just sitting around instead of helping them out, but Scout them out. So I'm hotkeying my stuff here because I want to get ready for Nemesis when he shows, so that way I have flash grenade. I stun him and the first is ready to pick up my teammates. Going. So as soon as I hear Nemesis, I open up the inventory and use that yellow herb. That yellow herb is key. So once you activate your famous skill as Samuel, that's when you pretty much accessible to Nemesis. You are undying to him. As you see right here. He does almost no damage to me with those punches. Martin gets me out of stun lock. I just try to bully him a little bit, but it's fun. And then I pick up Jill with my first 
And pretty much what my goal right now is is to try to distract Nemesis. Of course, he already caught on. He caught on to what I'm doing. And just begins to hit me. So right now, just try to be a pest to him. Try to get a few stuns on him. And just really be annoying to him. Because he knows he can't do anything. I see he tries to go for the other teammates and try to make their move. And I pick up Jill freely. I'm not afraid if he shows up because there's nothing much he can really do against me. It's honestly kind of broken against Nemesis. But of course, uh, a smart mastermind will just go after your teammates instead of you. But I wasted a lot of his time and he got nothing out of it when he was trying to get me. So, this build's really good for distracting fire weapons. Try to stay on top of the camera, so you know it takes a lot of more skill camera, but the time you get back from after this update is amazing. Now as a tip for Mastermind, you could disarm your camera if you think it's about to die. And they won't get the, see like how he did, he disarmed it. So only got 10 seconds instead of 20. So if you're pretty vigilant Mastermind, like that change your gun cameras won't really affect you. Just every now and then if they catch you off guard. So right here he didn't do it though. I think he was just trying to get that one shot to interrupt her. So I'm pretty much just trying to back up that gun. Looting around because you have extra resources, especially when you're Samuel and Tyrone. And don't have that starting ammo. It's really good. Of course, that zombie snuck up on me. I saw her walk in all fine, and then Mr. Zombie said, Oh, I'm waiting for you. Now, right here, I made a mistake. I tried to be greedy and use my recovery to heal me, and I was going to use my fever. I should have just ate a green herb. So, that was a bad mistake. Don't be greedy with your items. Just use them when you need them. So, I try to crawl out of here because I figured he's going to try to focus Becca and stop the terminal. But for some weird odd reason, and this actually works out for him, is he focuses us. Which I don't get why, but luckily this cover was so perfect for Martin Lord, it did not affect him at all. And then he just let Becca get chill up in the other room. So kind of a weird play on his part. I think he was kinda tilted at me, because he couldn't do anything to me, so when he saw me go down he wanted to try to get that opportunity, which was a bad play on his part, because in here would have been more important because the objective's in here as well. So of course if I shoot the camera. That way Becca can get it. And I try to go over here to body block from Becca, and as soon as I turn around, I notice he's not on the camera, so I'm like, oh, he's probably not gonna come back. My client says there are too many of you in number. Don't worry, I will change that. Those seems really good back in China. <gasps> Trying to heal each other, help each other as much as possible. That's what this game's all about, is teamwork this survivor. Now, of course, I have eight bullets here, which isn't going to take down a camera. I'm just going to take camera to, like, half-life. So, the team definitely has to back me up here, but, of course, I shoot the trap that he places there pretty easily. Uh, I didn't want to give up anything for ammo, so I decided just to tough it out. But we were at the exit gate anyway, so it didn't really matter. I'm not going to lie, it's kind of weird combating my own gameplay afterwards. This feels like a natural. I never do it. So. I do not know how you are still alive. That's the build in action now, and it really comes to life in Area 3. Because now you also can utilize that extra damage for the bio course. And yes, it does work on enhancing sprays in case you didn't know that. So, pretty much my ideal build of Sammy right now is to get some ammo for cameras, stock up on parakeets, and some herbs. I still have my flash for Nemesis because I never used it that one round. So I'm in a really good position to use Nemesis. So there's a camera to the left I can shoot you and your team. I just got greedy for a camera over there. But definitely, uh, that's one of the first cameras to look out for. There's a camera across the way that you can shoot yet, but he has to manually control it. The auto turret ones uh, won't shoot that far. Thank god. 
been so ridiculous as like a sniping machine gun turret with how accurate it is. It'd be so ridiculous. So I heard Nemesis and I get ready for him again. And then I didn't realize Bad Boy's over there. I'm like, oh wow, I feel like a dirt. So I backed off right there from Martin because I saw the tentacle come up. Because if you run into the tentacle, you're going to get hit. So I tried to stun him, but Jill kind of was on top of it already. Maybe like bitch smack me right there. So I'm pretty much just trying to keep my immortal stuff up. Video skip there for some reason. So I'm basically just being really annoying. Just to annoy Nemesis as much as possible. Help the team out by being annoying him. Though he is very observant, he does watch where the teammates are going and try to stay on top of them. And then my motor runs out here, so I'm like, uh oh. Luckily, I got my buck save with my herb war off too. But now that I have the herb back, I'm in a good position again. So you definitely have to stay on top of that herb in case you have to extend it by a weapon time. So he's going for Becca instead of me. Oh, no, he went for me. Oh, yeah. And then we're out of time, but he did push me to a bear attack. So, pretty much, the only thing I have to worry about is if they get extended time on Nemesis, you yell at her to get So, that's when you're vulnerable, is the fact you yell at her. So, just be vigilant, and don't be afraid to pop another one if you have to. So, I'm over here just being annoying because I noticed uh, Becca resident teammates back there, and he's focusing on me. So, even though I'm losing some time, it gets the teammates back up because he decided not to pressure them for some reason. Maybe they're at like an awkward angle, I guess, out there? I'm not sure, but. I got supply of zombie. And I steal the ammo. I can leave a minigun there for Becca if she wants it. There's a Samuel. As long as he got a sledgehammer, you're pretty much golden. Damn it, it's locked! No, let's skip again. Weird. So it builds pretty straightforward. Area 3 comes to life because you have a lot more yellow herbs. And you wouldn't like area 1 and 2. So I just try to wait for the yellow herb when I start destroying the bio core unless I absolutely need it. You see that bio core just drops. I know Becca was helping me, but man, it just drops, so. And I just use my fever skill to heal me so I can be greedy with herbs. Almost. Just so this next part is really going to show you the power of this build. No so try rising right you, here. I'm wondering why the auditor is not focusing, but I take advantage of it. It shoots me. And then we got Nemesis. Two people down, just me and Nemesis. So I know Martin's not here because I know Martin's going the long way around to Bioport. So my goal is just to keep Nemesis with me at this point, because there's no way of getting him up without his ace frame. So even though I don't have my fever equipped, he's still having a really hard time taking me out. I just keep running around and just try to keep that recovery on. He couldn't like did the accelerate scream on me. Rocket's not too effective against me because I can just dash forward at him. So he just tries to cut me off here. And I just keep trying to harass him. Mess with him. He focuses me, which is not a good plan as Martin. He should have went for Martin. To protect the objective. But said he really wanted to kill me. But I don't really give him a chance to. I guess thinking about it now, maybe accelerate the rocket launcher work. Now, of course, my yellow herb war is off here, but luckily, Jill came in with the clutch save. So I just started running away here. And then I just wanted to be greedy again. Luckily, my team came at the right time. Because the only downfall is once that yellow herb wears off, you're vulnerable. And of course, Martin got the bio core and started the exit gate. Because he was too busy tunneling me, which was a bad mistake on his part. But he's 
Honestly, this build's just really good against uh, bio weapons, just so you don't die as easily. Makes you a lot more resilient. Of course, I got stuck in a playable trap and I tried to punch it. I really hope you guys uh, got some info out of this guide. I really hope to help you guys. And if you really feel like bullying Nemesis, USA! I hope this guide helps USA! you out. Now, of course, this Nemesis, you can probably do your roar, you know, stun him, hit him with a rocket, and then try to go up and punch him. But for the most part, definitely just go for Samuel's teammates. Well, guys, thanks for watching. Hope to catch you next time.